there are only nine days left until the end of our Kickstarter campaign for our own fragrance. Thank you to everyone who's ordered it so far. I truly appreciate you guys. If you haven't already pre-ordered, I strongly hope you guys consider doing so. I would not release a fragrance if I did not think it was worth your time, money, and a spot in your collection, guys. We have United Kingdom, European Union, and United States shipping. And more good news, we now have both Canada and Australian shipping as there are enough of you demanding our products. So we'll be making it available for you guys as well. Link in bio and description as always, guys. This is an all or nothing pledge. So if we do not meet our target in time, you do not spend any money. But of course, guys, we are hoping to reach the target. So make sure you check it out down below. Monica Keok is a great reviewer. Not only is she attractive, she also has this very calming and relaxing voice. So let's say there's this girl you want to impress. Here are 20 super sexy and attractive fragrances for men. And her video production is off the charts. She's made an interesting video called 20 Sexiest Colognes in Two Minutes. Obviously this video is not gonna be two minutes uh, because I won't stop going on about my own fragrance. However, it should be interesting to react to. Let's get into it. 1 million Pacaraban. Get a million compliments. The original 1 million is a bit outdated. It is still probably the best for clubbing in the line. 1 million Lucky is best for dates during the daytime or in warmer weather. 1 million Privé is best for dates in the nighttime or colder weather. And then 1 million Parfum is a sort of weird Invictus and Florals hybrid. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Maybe a decent fragrance for the summertime. Royal Oud, Creed. Luxury in a bottle. Royal Oud, bear in mind, is not really an Oud fragrance. It's more of a citrus and sandalwood fragrance. It's a beautiful blend. It doesn't have any real oud in my opinion it doesn't smell like it and it doesn't last long enough to be so it lasts about six to eight hours it is questionably questionably overpriced like most creed fragrances it is more of a mature man's fragrance i got this from my dad i'd say it's for guys mainly who are 40 years old and above bleu de chanel from chanel popular for a reason i'd say putting all things in mind, the Eau de Parfum of Bleu de Chanel is the best concentration. However, if you if you just want the best, you don't mind spending however much money you need to for the best Bleu de Chanel concentration, go for the Parfum. It's the longest lasting, it's the most sandalwood heavy. I love that note. I get 12 hours with that fragrance. L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum from Guerlain. Edible, but masculine. L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum is a sexy cherry-based signature for the colder weather. You can also go for Aaron Terrence Hughes Raw Cherry. Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme from Chanel. White linen shirt. Allure Eau Extreme is very nice, very versatile. I also like the original Allure Homme Sport from the line. Spice Bomb Extreme, Victor and Rolf. Moorish Bomb of Spices. With Spice Bomb Extreme, you're guaranteed both beast mode performance and compliments. By the fireplace, a replica. Netflix and chill. This is a nice day night fragrance, and I always say this smells like the more interesting version of the original Stronger With You. Tobacco Vanille, Tom Ford. Christmas is here! I think Tobacco Vanille isn't just a Christmas time fragrance. It, it smells generally to me like a special occasion's nice evening fragrance. It's very good, but I also recommend you check out Aaron Terrence Hughes Tobacco, which definitely competes with this. Leighton, Parfum de Marly. Last for hours. I get 14 hours with Leighton. It's definitely a safe beginner's niche fragrance. Why Yves Saint Laurent Eau de Parfum? Sweet and fresh. Why EDP isn't particularly sweet on my skin? It is a great jack of all trades fragrance, extremely versatile, gets you a good amount of compliments and lasts 10 hours. Le Mal Essence Jean Paul Gaultier better than the original. I have not tried this fragrance. If you guys have an opinion on it, let us know in the comments down below. Side effect, initial parfum privé. Can't get enough. I have not tried this fragrance either. From what I've heard, side effect is considered the best fragrance from Initia. Valentino Uomo Intense. Tony Stark in Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Wilbur Intense smells like the more safe mainstream version of Dior Homme Intense in my opinion. I prefer Dior and I think Tony Stark would probably wear Dior also. Tom Ford Noir Pour Homme. Black Suit and Tie. Tom Ford Noir Extreme is definitely one of the sexiest date night fragrances on the market. Dolce & Gabbana, the one on the parfum. Women love this. Everyone loves this fragrance. I think a better alternative still is 
Issa Miyake's noir ombre if you want better performance. Issa Laurent, La Nuit de l'Homme, on the toilet. Candlelit dinner. Definitely, the original La Nuit de l'Homme is romantic. However, I think you should definitely get the blue electric flanker if you can at the moment. Mont Blanc Explorer. Every day, loud and sexy. For me, Mont Blanc Explorer is a softly projecting fragrance. I think it's definitely good for the price. It smells expensive. If you want a closer clone to Creed Aventus for a similar price, go for Al Haramain's L'Aventure. Versace Pour Homme, the scent of Aquaman. Yeah, I can see Versace Pour Homme being a scent for Jason Momoa's Aquaman. It is clean, marine, musky. It's a very safe warm weather signature. Black pepper comme des garçons. Unique and hot. I have not tried black pepper, but the brand of comme des garçons is generally very creative with their fragrances. Bulgari pour homme. Affordable, sexy and fresh. I've never found the original aqua by Bulgari to be sexy. It smells too much like stones at the beach. It's, it's got a good realism to it, but I always, always found uh, Aquamarine and Aqua Amara to be the superior flankers. Obviously, Aqua Amara is no longer available. Thank you, Monica, for that great video. What do you guys think of her list? Let us know in the comments down below. Do you agree or disagree? Make sure to check out our own fragrance release, guys, before it's too late in the comments and description down below. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.